Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Mentoring Math. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the book back that's evolution question with answers of uh, changes around us, which is in the sixth standard Tamil Nadu new syllabus term two, and it is a uh, unit three. Okay, so uh, let's get involved in it. Before that, if you didn't watch the previous video, means please watch that video because that helps you to answer these all questions in the simple manner. Okay, so please watch that video. The link is in the description. Okay, so let's get involved in it. Evolution. First row monitor. Choose the appropriate answers. First one. When ice melts to form water, change occurs in its dash. Options are there: A. Position. B. Color. C. State. D. Composition. Okay. When the ice change to water means which type of change is that position or is that color or its state or its its composition? Definitely. state option c is the correct answer yes because ice cube is in the solid state and water is in the liquid state so it changes from its state only so the answer is state let's see the second one drying of wet cloths in air is an example of dash it's a chemical change or it's a undesirable change or it's a irreversible change or it's a physical change definitely it's a physical change yes because so in your home itself you can notice that If some wet cloth is there, means its color is slight different. So if the same cloth is dried, in the sense its color is slight different. So it's because of all the physical appearance only. So the answer is the physical change. Next third one, formation of curd from milk is a dash change. It's a reversible change, or it's a fast change, or it's an irreversible change, or it's an undesirable change. So which type of change is that? So it's an irreversible change. Yes, um, formation of a curd from the milk is a irreversible change. Yes, we cannot get back the milk from the curd. So it's a irreversible change. Here you need to remember the irreversible change definition. Anything which cannot come back to its original state means that's called the irreversible change. So here we cannot take the milk from the curd. So that's why it's a irreversible change. Okay. Next is the fourth one. Out of the following, an example of a desirable change is dash. Options are there: rusting or change of season or earthquake or flooding. From these options, which one is comes under the desirable change? Definitely, option B, change of season, is a desirable change because the rest of all are undesirable changes. That's a rusting, earthquake, flooding, or undesirable changes. The only thing is the change of the season, which comes under the desirable change. Here also, you need to go back to the definition of the desirable change. Desirable change is nothing but anything which does not harmful to our environment. Means that's called the Desirable change here. The change of the season is not harmful to our environment. It is also helpful for us. Fifth one, air pollution leading to acid rain is a dash change. It's a reversible change or fast change or natural change or human made change. Definitely, it's a human made change. We all know it. Okay. So answer of fifth one is a human made change. Next is second row monitor. Fill in the blanks. First one, magnet attracts iron needle. This is dash change. It's a reversible change or it's a irreversible change. Definitely, it's a reversible change because once the magnet attracts the iron needles, means we can separate the needle from the iron magnet, so it can come back to its original state. So it's a reversible change. Okay. Next is the second one. Boiling of egg results in dash change. It's a reversible change or it's an irreversible change. It's an irreversible change. Yes, once the egg is boiled, means that's it. We cannot get back the unboiled egg from the boiled egg. So it's an irreversible change. Okay. Third one, changes that are harmful to us or dash change. That's a desirable change or undesirable change. Everybody knows that it's an undesirable change. Yes. The changes which are harmful to our environment and which is not useful for us means that comes under the undesirable change only. Okay. Next is the fourth one. Plants convert carbon dioxide and water into starch. This is an example of a dash change. It's a nature change or a human made change. Definitely, it's a nature change. Okay. So. Plants converts carbon dioxide and the water into the starch. It's because of its own nature only. So it's a natural change. Fifth one, 
bursting of firecrackers is dash change whereas germination of seed is dash change definitely bursting of firecracker is a fast change we already discussed it in the earlier video also okay so similarly germination of seeds is dash change it's a slow change that is also we already discussed okay next one is a third roman letter true or false if false give the correct statement okay let's see the first one growing of teeth in a infant is a slow change is it true or false definitely it's a true okay your infant is nothing but the newborn child okay so growing up of a teeth in a infant that's a newborn child means it takes a long year to grow up so it's a slow change definitely it's true next second one burning of match stick is a reversible change is it true or false it's false yes burning of match stick is an irreversible change yes we know it third one change of new moon to full moon is a human made change definitely not it's false change of new moon to full moon is a natural made change okay so just clear this fourth one digestion of food is a physical change no it's false digestion of food is a chemical change we know it we already discussed it also okay so fifth one in a solution of salt in water water is a solute is it true or false it's definitely false because in a solution of salt in water water is a solvent and salt is only the solute here okay so just remember this next row molar fourth row molar analogy first one curdling of milk irreversible change formation of clouds dash change formation of clouds is a reversible change yes we can notice in the sky itself clouds will form and disappear it is a reversible change only okay so second one photosynthesis dash change burning of coal is a human made change we know then photosynthesis is a what kind of change it's a natural change it's happening to the green leaves of plant so it's a natural change okay so next is the third one dissolving of glucose reversible change digestion of food dash change we know digestion of food is a irreversible change yes we already discussed it okay next is the fourth one cooking of food desirable change decaying of food dash change decaying of food is undesirable change because it's not useful for us so it comes under the undesirable change okay next is the fifth one burning of matchstick dash change rotation of earth slow change okay so rotation of earth is a slow change we know it burning of matchstick is a which kind of change it's a fast change yes we know it okay next from letter is fifth one circle the odd one out give reason for your choice okay so let's see the first one growth of a child blinking of eye rusting germination of seed okay so just uh, observe just read these all the things and identify which one is the odd one here definitely the rusting is a odd one here because uh, rusting is the only thing which comes under the undesirable change okay so other, other than that uh, growth of child blinking of eye and the germination of seeds these are all comes under the desirable change okay so that's why i circled the rusting as an odd one okay next is the second one glowing of a bulb lighting of a candle breaking of a coffee mug curdling of milk so here also we need to circle the odd one definitely here the breaking of a coffee cup is a odd one because breaking of a coffee mug is comes under the undesirable change the rest of all are that are glowing of a bulb lighting of a candle curdling of a milk these all are comes under the desirable change so here the odd one is a undesirable change and that is a breaking of a coffee mug okay have you all clear about it next third one rotting of an egg condensation of water vapor trimming of hair ripening of fruit so just circle the odd one here which one is odd one here definitely the rotting of an egg is an odd one because that only comes under the undesirable change rest of all are that are condensation of water vapor 
trimming of hair and ripening of fruit these all are comes under the desirable change so here the odd one is a rotting of an egg because this only comes under the undesirable change okay so i will clear about it next is the fourth one inflating a balloon popping a balloon fading of wall paint burning of kerosene okay so which one is odd one here definitely inflating a balloon is an odd one because inflating a balloon is only the reversible change yes inflating a balloon is nothing but we can release the air in the safe manner and in the sense we can also refill the air in the safe manner so it is a reversible change so inflating a balloon is a reversible change the rest of all are uh, comes under the irreversible change that are popping a balloon Mm, fading yeah, of wall paint burning of kerosene these all comes under the irreversible change the only thing comes under the reversible change is the inflating a balloon that's why i circled it out as an odd one okay next one is sixth one give very short answers first one what kind of a change is associated with decaying of plant so decaying of plant is associated with slow change and also the chemical change okay so we know that decaying of a plant means there is some formation of a new substance so it's also comes under the chemical change okay so this is a definition next one you are given some candle wax can you make a candle doll from it what kind of change is that okay so here they gave one candle wax to us so from that here they asked one question can you make a candle doll from it so yes i can make a candle doll from it so that's the answer for that one next one is a what kind of change is this so making a doll from the candle is a which kind of change that only they are asked here so that comes under the physical change only and it's also the reversible change so just write it next question is a define a slow change here we already know it we discussed it also so changes which takes place over a long period of time in the sense of hours days months years means that are known as slow changes okay so i will clear about it next one is the fourth one what happens when can sugar is strongly heated mention any two changes in it so first answer this first question what happens when can sugar is strongly heated so when can sugar is heated it loses all water molecules and decomposes to carbon okay that's the answer of first one next mention any two changes in it two changes mentioned in the heating process of the can sugar is that chemical change and irreversible change okay next fifth one what is a solution okay uh, this is also we already discussed when a solute is dissolved in a solvent it forms a solution so solute plus solvent gives solution okay next seventh roman letter give short answer first one what happened when paper is burnt explain burning of paper takes place within a short period of time seconds or a minute so it is a fast change okay so this is answer for it next second one can deforestation be considered a desired change explain no it's an undesirable change and it is a human made change okay deforestation leads to decreasing rainfall and it also leads to global warming okay in the short sense this deforestation is not useful for our environment it is harmful for our environment so it comes under the undesirable change okay so we already discussed it next third one what type of changes is associated with germination of a seed explain germination of seed is a slow change change which takes place over a long period of time so it is known as a slow change okay next roman letter is the eighth roman letter answer in detail first one give one example in each case that happens around you okay that are slow and fast change reversible and irreversible change physical and chemical change natural and man made change desirable and undesirable change we know it 
these are the classification of the changes here we have to give one example for each and every change okay first take the slow and fast change slow change and the example of a slow change is a growth of nail and hair fast change example of fast change is a burning of paper next one is a reversible and irreversible change okay reversible change example for reversible change is a melting of ice irreversible change example of irreversible change is a change of milk into curd okay next one is a physical and chemical change for the physical change the example of physical change is a drying of cloth chemical change example of chemical change is a rusting of iron next one is a natural and man made change natural change example of natural change is a rotation of earth man made change example of man made change is a construction of building next final one is the desirable and undesirable change desirable change example for desirable change is a cooking of food undesirable change example of undesirable change is a deforestation okay so next row letter is the ninth row letter question based on higher order thinking skills first one when a candle is lit the following changes are observed that are wax melts candle keeps burning the size of the candle decreases the molten wax solidify so these are the changes that is happening when the candle is burning okay so from these they ask one question which of the changes can be reversed to justify your answer okay from these a b c d these are the changes i as i said from these changes which changes are comes under the reversible changes and justify the changes okay so that's the question here so here the a wax melts and the d molten wax solidifies these are the change which comes under the reversible change okay i will justify it because these two changes can be reversible to get back to its original state so these two changes are reversible changes okay that is the justification for my answer okay so just remember which of the changes can be reversed means that's a two change wax melting change and the molten wax change okay so that's it in our upcoming videos we can see the uh, next unit detail explanation okay that's it subscribe to our channel melting math and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you